Hi everybody, it's Pat Huntoon here from Technique Junkies and today I'm going to be showing you how to use a stencil with a regular piece of paper to do some layering, some stencil layering, some image layering. Look at that, isn't that pretty? So that's what we're gonna be making today. So what I'm starting with is a Colorful Life stencil. This is the Zinnia set. I like it because it's got three different sizes of Zinnia so I can get a really nice background on that. So I just have a piece of paper here. This is a piece of Nina Classic Cross Natural uh, white. It's a it's a vanilla color. The uh, light color of Technique Junkie Shimmering Bliss. I've already mixed the colors, so there's no mic on the bottom here. And when you mix these, these come in 20 colors and five toppers. The toppers only have shimmer in them. When you mix them, you always roll them side to side. You never go like that because if you go up and down, then you're going to be pushing glimmer into the nozzle and you don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is just create a base layer on here. So whenever you spray these, you go all the way down to the paper, lift your hand up one inch. I, If you spray from way up here, that's six inches, and you get that, which is just slop, and I don't want that. So I just want a nice little base of color here. I'm just gonna go over that so I get nice color and nice shimmer on there. Look at that, isn't that shimmery and pretty? Okay, so you're gonna hold this down nice and firm. You can also tape it down, um, but I'm not gonna use tape this time for the sake of expediency. And now I'm using the Shimmering Bliss in Mermaid. Okay, all shaken. So now we're just gonna spray this onto here. And we wanna lift that up right away. Isn't that pretty? It's got a very soft edge to it. This is not a hard edged technique. So, I mean, that's just pretty in itself, but I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna dry that real quick with the heat tool so that those dry. And in between, you're going to wipe your stencil off. Now, I wanna show you this because I could have done this on a piece of paper, but you could get a, a fun little, um, a fun little print from that too. I'm just gonna use some water on this and get this cleaned off. Here is the, the piece dried. I didn't dry it to the crispy critter state. I just dried it um, somewhat. Um, this part here is a little wet still. You can see in the back, it's a little wet. Um, so I'm just gonna lay that back down on my piece of paper. I'm going to be putting this back over the top and I'm just going to be moving these pieces so that they are in different orientations from the original ones. Because I want these to layer but not necessarily take over. Now, you see how there's edges here and here and here and here? I need to cover those up. So I would suggest getting yourself some post-it notes, okay? And just go between them. It'll also help hold the project down a little bit, unless you don't mind your hands being all inky. And just where the extra edges show, so you don't get overspray on those edges. You just really don't want it to be oversprayed. And that actually helps hold it down a little bit. So now I'm going to be using Thulean Pink. And this is all shaken up, so it's ready to be sprayed. And what I'm going to do is just hold this firm again and spray in the, in the holes there. Okay. And I would suggest this time, because you don't want to get the overspray into the other part, is just kind of sop up some of that with paper towel on top and then peel everything off. Oh, and look at that. Isn't that pretty? We have a beautiful layered piece. And that's all it takes. This can just be heat with a heat tool. If this curls at all, what you want to do is take this piece, and once it's dried, if it's curled, sit on it. Put it in between your thigh and your chair after it's dry with the project face down so you don't get it on your clothes, and it'll flatten right out. So that's the end of this tutorial today. It's quick and easy. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up on YouTube and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching today. I'll see you next time. Bye.